Hey, this is Nate Moeller. Welcome to this quick tutorial on how do you stumble upon to get new writing ideas. First thing you're going to have to do is join stumble upon. So you'll go to stumbleupon.com, click on join for free, and it will have you fill out specific information. Your email address, which according to stumble upon, it will never be shared. You'll want to create a username. In this case, I like to use my business name, possibly, or something that's going to be easy to remember and create a password, fill out the other information, your birthday, and click get started. Once you set up your account, there'll be a few things you have to do. One of those is add an add-on for Firefox if you're using Firefox as your browser. This is simple to do, just click on add to Firefox and it will add a, a toolbar up at the top of your screen. Once I log into my account, the first thing I want to do is go to settings and I can look at my account settings, I can customize my profile, but what I want to talk about today is managing interests. You can see here I've already checked some specific interests. Most of them have to do with internet marketing or business or article writing or SEO or but you can see I have specific interests in mind. Now this is the way that I'm going to teach you how to use stumble upon to help you avoid writer's block by selecting the, the appropriate interests so you can come up with new ideas. As you can see on the left, it gives us lots of different topics and categories. So we can go through and customize our interests. And here's how this helps. If I open up another tab, right now I'm on, I've discovered this specific page by stumbling and it gave me the top 150 management and leadership blogs. If I click stumble again, the next thing it'll show me is some random picture. Uh, maybe I could get an idea to blog about something like that, like how, how SEO is like a lightning storm or whatever. I click stumble again though and I'm trying to just, there's an infographic, cracking the credit card code and it gives me an idea. And I can just click through these and it's going to give me ideas. Expert interviews, mind maps and action worksheets for bloggers, bingo. There's a perfect example of a site that I would have never found on my own probably, but because of StumbleUpon, I found a, a great article that can give me some ideas on something I could blog about. And this is how I use StumbleUpon to help me avoid writer's block.